I just wanted to share a little bit of my Sunday morning ritual or my gift to nature offering whatever you want to call it peacemaking thank you appreciation I like to set up some of the crystals that have helped me during the week and a little bit of my homemade oil and some herbage which kind of includes three different types of sage and sandalwood and a pinch of mugwort, some vetiver. Um, I think I threw some chamomile in there this morning because my nerves are a little on edge. And here it is. I figured um, since I've been down and out and using my legs seem to be very traumatic at times. And I like to cleanse my house and bless. And then I also like to give offering to the nature spirits who out in my woods there are always talking to me and bringing me signs and especially thank you to Mr. Bard Al who is one of my totems and he visited me recently and I recorded his conversation or his message and I want to play that for y'all. Let me just get this going real good. <laughs> okay, so here's the message from Bard Al. Sorry about the crappy recording. likes to get this big oak tree out here. You can see it. I'm reaching as far as I can reach. That big tree right there.
hope y'all could hear that. It was pretty groovy. It's just kind of, I'm sitting in a part of my house that um, this area outside picks up a lot of breeze and can carry the smoke around my house which is actually a long trailer <laughs> and so I was hoping to draw down the sun a little bit this morning for everybody Mr. Sun. Well, yeah, we're working on it. The rays of the natural light, the sun and the moon, they're ultimately quite healing for myself and I'm going early this morning so that um, I can get this in before it gets fiery hot. It's still August. It's still Texas. <laughs> and I'm still growing older in my physical body. Even though I feel pretty young in my mind. I guess if I was to give myself an age I would probably say I'm 14 years old. <laughs> um, when I was 14, I was I was on fire. Well, so anyways, you see that area there where the sun's coming through the trees? There's a little magic place back there, a uh, sanctuary that I kind of built, and uh, right through there, which you can probably barely see, is a uh, fairy door. Yes, fairies exist my world. But I am Irish, Scandinavian, and English. So, ever since I was really little, I have laid low in the grasses and held my breath and waited for them. Of course, they played many tricks on me, but uh, I've never been able to see one yet. Come on, Mr. Sun. Come past those trees. He's working on it. He says, Patience, child. Patience. Who, me? What is this patience you speak of? I 
I see so many beautiful things and I use everything to divine messages from the mother. Like right now, there is a heart-shaped peace sign in that tree. Or there's a is it an axe or a hatchet it has one blade? I forget. I mean an axe. No hatchet. I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just entirely in love with the things that I'm seeing this morning. Over here I see a dragon. Poor dragon. Got such a bad rap. Dragon came to me one time and he told me that I needed to receive some medicine, some dragon medicine. He was green and he was from the forest. Such a beautiful and gentle dragon. And funny enough, my ex-husband just so happened to buy me a little um, dragon charm right after that. It was really weird. So I wore it for quite a while. And I, I just love dragons. They exist in my world as well. Uh, now we're going to draw down the sun. If you see what's on this recording, the rays of the sun coming down, have you ever stood out in nature under the sun or the moon and pulled those rays within your heart have you it's an amazing feeling I don't know what other people call it but I call it drawing down the sun or drawing down the moon which is what I'm about to go do this morning before breakfast for today. I'm going to let those rays wrap around my heart and just heal everything that hurts and warm the bitterness and the coldness that I feel because I am human. There's one thing I will say about myself is I'll be the first one to admit I have a lot of flaws. I have a lot of learning to do. I have... I've never made a, dis a mistake, but I have made many bad choices. I don't believe in mistakes. Accidents. I don't believe in those. And what is belief anyway? They don't resonate with me at all. Because a lot of good has come out of some of those bad choices. So I can't call them mistakes. Look at this, um, this, um, rainbow titanium crystal. been my most recent 
Wish I could get a good shot of it. It's it's been uh, it was a gift to myself, <laughs> and uh, it has given me a lot of. What's the right word? It has shed light on the things about me that are good. Because you see, I felt like such a disappointment to my dad. I was the, what I always called the failure child, the oldest, the fence tester, the questioner, the runaway. The unconventional, unconvention, unconventional traditionalist. <laughs> That's funny. My sister thinks I'm silly. But genuinely so. It comes honestly. And that's something else. And something everybody should do. Don't ever let yourself get too sad. I have... I have, but 96% of the time, there's this humor that lives in me that just, I can't help myself. <laughs> so... I always have a sense of humor, and I hope that sometimes in my comments that people are able to pick up on those sense of humor uh, bits about me. I like to be very goofy um, in a childlike way. It keeps me young, and it heals me, and... I hope that it has the same effect on whoever I'm interacting with. God, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. It's just gorgeous. Thank you, Mr. Sun. Thank you. Oh. I would love to say that I'm not worthy, but I know sis that I am. Isn't that a wonderful thing to be worthy? We're all worthy. Everybody. I don't care who you are or what you've done. You're worthy of something. Something beautiful. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show y'all. When I was battling addiction, my daughter bought me this, which I made the necklace. But the stone is another rainbow um, titanium crystal. Which, this one is infused with, I think, titanium. Um, the other one might be cold. But they, they heat them. Ouch, I just burnt myself. Isn't it beautiful? I can hold my arm still. And so I wear this all the time. And 
the shade, you can really see the rainbow come out in these stones. And they're just, if you ever come across any, you have to, you have to get one. They're fairly inexpensive and maybe somebody will gift you one like they did me. So, I make a lot of jewelry, a lot of hemp jewelry. And I work with um, hemp and crystals. I thought about opening up a store, but that takes a little more courage because I'm still not sure that my stuff is worth buying. And I really don't like the idea of selling it anyway. I'd rather give it away, but in my condition, such as it is right now, I kind of need an income. So, it's not the only thing that I do. I have a couple other things that I like to to craft. My best friend of 46 years, she says I am gifted with all kinds of bitchcraft. <laughs> okay. Maybe so. I'll tell you one thing I'm gifted with. And that's a circle of friends like you all. And well, anyway, I can't make this too much longer because it takes forever to upload, but you're all a part of my circle. Even those of you that are just meeting me through this video for the first time in your life. And I hope everybody has the most beautiful, magical day. And I wish that everyone would receive that personal message that you're waiting for today. So, keep your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your feels present in your experience today. And, blessed be, I love you all so much. And you're more inspiring and more of a blessing than I can ever put in words. So later.